The new patch came in last week, and with that, a few ways of making gold. One of them, actually, has been here for a long time, and not a lot of people do it. But it's pretty good by doing every one of the contents in Secrecy of the Obscure. I'm going to tell you how to do it, how it works, and why it's so preferable. So, right, channel for more this, and let's get into it. So, what is this farm that you do? What you want to do is doing every meta and collecting currencies from each of the maps, as they will allow you to buy to craft these weapons uh, called concentrated Sarex weapons. Concentrated Sarex weapons. Look at that, 14 gold each. Pretty good. Stormforged weapons. Oh, Stormforged weapons, and of course the also the other ones that are called Storm's Eye weapons. They're all very expensive, and the reason why they're so expensive is because they're crafted by using the um, currencies from each of the, mat the, the metas, uh, each of the maps, from Skyward Archipelago to Amnitas to Inner Nails. Now, it hasn't really changed a lot, but they're still pretty worth it, and now for Inner Nails weapons, you actually have two uh, metas to farm. The one in Inner Nails on this side, the Hater's meta, and the one in the other surrounds that on this character, I don't have. Uh, but yeah, both of them will give you the currency to be able to craft these weapons. Same thing uh, for the Amnatus meta and the Skywatch meta. And of course, just doing uh, random events and collecting currencies inside of the maps. This will give you uh, the currencies for the map specifically. Uh, let's see where they are. At the bottom, right? The static charges for Chipelago, pinches of Stardust for Amnatus, and calcified gasps for... Um, um, for um, Inner Nails and uh, Neater Surrounds. And you can transform 250 of each of these ones to the bigger currencies that are called uh, Cases of Capture Lighting, Pouches of Stardust, and Clots of Congealed Screams. And each of these weapons will ask you from one of uh, these, you know, big currencies right here. Now, very important uh, caveat here though, this you know, if you start using these weapons to sell them for gold, you will be making your legendary progress uh, less, you know, less fast, you know, slower, because you will need this, um, these specific currencies in order to make your legendary armor. But if you're not going for that, crafting these weapons is very, very much worth it. Now, why do people want this, uh, these weapons in the first place? Well, there's a few reasons. One, there is an actual, uh, there are indeed achievements from it. Uh, so if you say, if you hear concentrated, there we go. Concentrated Sarex weapon collector. You can see that you know you'll give you uh, three achievement points. There are not that many, but they also look pretty cool. Uh, if you go check the concentrated, um, the concentrated uh, weapons, right? You can see. I'm just gonna go for the great sword because I, I mean, I love great swords. What can I say, guys? It looks pretty cool. It even has like a little bit of animation and particle effect on it, right? It's actually pretty cool. If you don't like it, of course, that's completely fair. But you know, there's something here for everyone. Same thing for Storm Eye. Uh, the Storm Eye weapons, they also look pretty cool. Look at that. They even have a fucking particle effect. It's like you know, you're like Thor himself with your weapon. Pretty cool. And Stormforge, oh, uh, as well. They also look uh, pretty cool, right? And they have a little animation, right? It's pretty it's pretty cool. Now, you might have noticed already, but these weapons look very similar to other weapons that are very big cheap. Uh, the storm weapons form uh oh well where are they? On the rare version. Weapon let's just search. Uh oh wait. They're not called like Skyforged, I think, maybe? There we go. Yeah, Sky. For example, the, the Sky uh, Forge weapons, look at that. They're essentially, the Storm Eye are essentially this, but on yellow. The Sarex ones are just, you know, just look at that. Just Sarex weapons, you know, and they're 22 silver. But they don't have the animation and they have a different color as well. Even though they do have that little, like, you know, pulsing effect on it. And of course, the Eagle Eye as well from Skywatch, right? The Eagle Eye weapons. So... In order to unlock those recipes to make these weapons for gold, you're gonna have to go and um, get the skins off of these ones first. So if you wanna do the upgraded version of the Eagle Eye Hammer, you're gonna have to unlock the skin of this one and then buy the recipe uh, from uh, the vendors. And then you can, you know, craft it yourself. The vendors are gonna be any uh, provisioner tokens 
uh, vendors in Skywatch, Archipelago, in Amnetas, or in Inner Naos. In Skywatch, uh, I usually go for the Drogdron's Light as you go to this waypoint and you talk to this guy right here and you're done. For uh, Amnetas, I would go just to Bastion of the Natural, talk to the guy, the Skywatch, um, no, not Skywatch, the provisional token that is right here, and it'll sell you the recipes. And same thing here goes for Inner Naos as there's the Astral World Camp waypoint. And you'll be able to talk to the provisional token there and just buy the weapons there. And uh, another reason why these are actually a bit uh, expensive, uh, other than the fact that you actually have to, you know, in order to craft them, use currency that is essentially daily gate, uh, time gated. Uh, you also can, uh, well, I already did this today, but you can actually trade these weapons for five provisional tokens instead of the normal ones. As you can see here, that asks you for like Ectos, or Silk, or whatever. You can instead use one of these concentrated grieving uh, weapons, right? Uh, Sarek's weapons, or the Storm Eye, or... Um, what the other one called? Or the Stoneforged, of course. And you can use them to um, get five provisional tokens instead. Of course, it's way more expensive, but there's a lot of people who don't want to deal with the uh, provisional token system. And they, use, they would just rather use some gold to just get five instead of one. Spend more money and not have to go in here into the into the uh, faction provisioners and doing it over and over again every day. That being said, those are the reasons why these are so expensive. Uh, but they're pretty easy to see, uh, easy to make. Or you know, after getting the recipe from these exact vendors, you need only a 400 level weaponsmith, artificer, or hunts on huntsman, um, and then you just have to get the materials from it. And uh, buy them and uh, craft them and then selling them. Uh, they're pretty easy. The only thing that is kind of annoying to get are the research notes. Uh, let me see where is this. So, for example, Stormforge, right? Storm's Eye, for example. You can see that you need 60 research notes, which is a bit of annoy an annoyance to do. But to be honest, um, it takes not that much time. And these 60 research notes are not that expensive. It's just a bit of a nuance, uh, of a nuisance. Um, and if you, you know, what I usually do for research notes, I just, one day, I just buy a lot of materials. I left, I leave my computer hanging in here while I go cook something. And while it's crafting, you know, um, items that will be essentially salvaged in order to get research notes. I'll, uh, also, it's important to me, for me to say that you should not research note these uh, Stormized weapons as they only give you like 5 and it's not really worth it. No, actually no, it's not 5, it's like 30. But like 30 versus 60 that it asks you, it's not really worth it. That being said, if you're going to go for the actual skin because you look, you like how it looks, you can definitely go for the, uh, you can definitely just research note, get it, and you will get the skin as well. Um, and you get the research notes, which is kind of nice. But yeah, you need the case of captured lightning that you get from the uh, meta, of course, or transforming your currency into this case of captured lightning from one of the same specific vendors, the provisional tokens vendors in each of these maps. And um, after that, you just need to craft this oiled ancient longbow stav, stav that you know just asks you for a bit of materials that you can buy for the training post. Same thing for the vials of le linseed oil. You can just craft it yourself or you can just buy it from a trading post they're a bit expensive as you can see here it'll ask you for like almost two gold but at the end of the day these items are indeed profitable as if you go to the heroes to efficiency and search uh search for any of these weapons storm eye rifle for example you're gonna see how much gold it actually costs you to craft it and how much gold it actually get you know you get for profit as you can see here the, uh, you know, the cost of actually crafting it is going to be around 2 gold and 36 silver. Um, if you insta-sell it, you're going to get 4 gold and 90 silver. And if you list it instead, you're going to get 11 gold of, of profit, which is a very, very good amount. And essentially, it's saying, hey, if you do any of the uh, secrets of the obscure metas, you're essentially getting 11 gold instantly just by doing it, which is very, very good for a 20-minute meta. Uh, and that's not even considering the amount of things that you get, uh, you know, uh, materials that you get from doing the meta itself. If you actually go to fast, you can see that the secrecy obscure metas are actually at the top. I mean, that's, look at that, 80 gold per hour, ac according to fast. I would definitely be a little bit hesitant on, you know, actually um, 
using these numbers as fast usually sometimes ends up exaggerating how much gold you actually get from these metas themselves. But it is true that, you know, Ametas, um, what's the word, Inerneos and Skywatch are pretty much at the top. Uh, and one of the reasons is because they consider uh, these currencies as being um, very uh, expensive if you use the, you know, if you actually pick the uh, big currency. Look at that. They actually, why do you say 17 gold for a punch of Stardust? That doesn't seem right. One punch of Stardust is not 17 gold. I mean, look, I mean, 17 gold profit from doing a, sh a Stormforge short ball? It's a bit too much. I don't think that's, it's not that much. What are they getting these numbers from? Well, look, regardless, it is very good, but I don't think it's that good. <laughs> like, this is, a bit, this is a bit too much. How much are this going for? Shaman, Stormforge, Shortbow. Profit is 14 gold. It's not 17 gold. This is not right. Maybe it's just not updated. Maybe the API hasn't been updated. <laughs> regardless, it's pretty profitable. 14 gold sell price. Um, of course, this will be um, these weapons. Sometimes will take a little bit to sell, uh, but I actually have not had an issue with this, even listing it. Sometimes someone, you know, will um, undercut me and I'll have to, you know, re-put it back in the trading post. But most of the time, this does not happen uh, too much and it sells like in around a day. So there you go. Tell me if you guys are going to do this. Tell me if it works for you. Tell me if I had anything wrong and if you have any questions on how to do it itself. And uh, yeah, I hopefully you guys uh, can make some gold to do this and realize, you know, because I don't think a lot of people consider the secrecy of the obscure metas as something that you should be doing every day. And personally, I definitely think so. Even if they're not my favorite metas, they're definitely very, very good in terms of gold making. But there you go. Subscribe channel for more content of this. See you guys around. Go to my twitch.tv slash Darren's with us to hang out on stream. Go to my discords uh, to, you know, to do events with us and play with us and see you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.